In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus ZnSO4, barium chloride plus zinc sulfate. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. In this case, the molecular equation is already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Next, we can write the state for each substance. So chlorides are almost always soluble. We'll write Aq. That's going to be aqueous, dissolved, split apart into its ions. Sulfates in general, soluble a little aqueous there. Barium sulfate, however, kind of an odd one. So here's a solubility table. We're going to look up barium sulfate. Barium is right here, and sulfate is way over here. So we'll go across, we, and then down right here. That I it says it's insoluble, so it's not going to dissolve in water. We can see right below it is zinc, and we go across here. Zinc is soluble, so we were right about that. Barium sulfate is one of those exceptions. Most of the sulfates are soluble. Barium sulfate, one to watch out for. So barium sulfate, we said, is insoluble. We're going to write an S because it's going to be a solid. It's not going to dissolve. It's going to stay a solid. In fact, it's going to be a precipitate. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube when these two substances react. Chlorides, very soluble, AQ. So we have our states, and that's a crucial step when you do net ionic equations. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. Barium's in group 2. It has a 2 plus ionic charge. Chlorine, the chloride ion, is 1 minus. So we have the barium ion, Ba2 plus. I'll write aqueous at the end. And then the chloride ion, Cl minus. But this 2 means we have two of them. We also have the zinc, which is always 2 plus, even though it's a transition metal. It's always 2 plus. And this whole sulfate, always 2 minus. So we have the zinc ion, and the sulfate ion. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. On the products, we have barium sulfate, but it's a solid. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. We're going to keep that together. And then we have zinc. We said that was 2 plus, and then the chloride ion, 1 minus. So we have Zn2 plus plus those two chloride ions. And this is the complete or total net ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. Let's see. We have reactants, these two chloride ions here, and we have them in the products. Zinc 2 plus, we got that right here, and we have it again. Get rid of that. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus ZnSO4. I'll clean this up, and we'll write the states in and have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for barium chloride plus zinc sulfate. You'll notice charge is conserved. We have 2 plus, 2 minus. They cancel out. Net charge of 0. Over here we have a neutral compound. And if you count the atoms up, they're the same on both sides as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus ZnSO4. Thanks for watching.